disability advocates are shedding light on an ongoing process called informal removal. So it's a strategy that some school districts use to take students with disabilities out of the classroom, usually because of behavioral issues. So Ted Linder is taking a closer look. It's something you may not be familiar with, but it's happening in school districts across the country. Something called informal removals. The process involves schools taking students with disabilities out of the classroom, sometimes dismissing them from school early or reducing their in-person learning to only a couple hours a week. Most of the time, school officials say the removals are the result of safety concerns for the student, their peers, and teachers. It's not asking much to send your kid to school for at least one whole day. Chloe Warren, who has autism, only goes to school one day a week for just two hours. Her mom, Alyssa, says their school district in Oregon told her that Chloe needed shorter days last year. She was having autism outbursts and she threw a desk at a teacher and was fighting with a student and they were like, all right, we're going to remove her from in-person learning. But Alyssa says the school failed to provide Chloe with the proper support and argues the removal is impacting her daughter's education and social skills. She's now suing Chloe's school and school district claiming disability discrimination. I don't think they see really the impact that they have on families. According to the National Disability Rights Network, informal removals like these happen hundreds, if not thousands of times per year. But because they're often marked as off-the-book suspensions, schools aren't required to report them like actual suspensions, which means they're harder to track. Disability advocates say the removals violate students' civil rights. Ted Lindner, Fox News.